Bills back. The chair now recognizes the gentleman from Florida, Mr. Curbelo, for five minutes. Mr. Speaker, I rise today to honor the memory of Captain James T. Dean, Jr., an Army veteran from the Vietnam War. Jim was born in Louisville, Kentucky in 1944. In 1962, he joined the Army and graduated from Officer Candidate School at Fort Sill, Oklahoma. He served in Korea with a Sergeant Missile Unit before being deployed to a beautiful place during an ugly time. He served in Vietnam from January 1968 to September 1969, serving with the 2nd Battalion, 40th Field Artillery of the 199th Light Infantry Brigade. A proud red leg, Jim received the Bronze Star with V device for heroism in ground combat, the Bronze Star with two oak leaf clusters for meritorious achievement in ground operations against hostile forces, as well as the Purple Heart for wounds received in action, along with numerous other awards and decorations for his service. Following his service, Jim and his wife Carla moved to Naples, Florida, where he started several businesses before returning to his true passion, horticulture. Jim worked for the city of Naples as the assistant parks and parkway supervisor. He was proud to have played a significant role in the Naplescape project to beautify the city. He was a civic leader serving on the board of the Greater Naples Better Government Committee, as well as the Marco Island Kiwanis. He was an ordained elder within the Presbyterian Church and with Carla. They were members of the Collier County Republican Executive. Jim also battled bat bladder cancer and with Carla and other friends formed the Bladder Cancer Foundation of Florida to raise awareness. Sadly, Jim succumbed to bladder cancer and passed away last month on March 23rd. His name will not appear on the Vietnam Veterans Memorial Wall However, make no mistake about it, like too many other survivors, Jim was a casualty of the war due to his exposure to Agent Orange. Recently, the National Institute of Medicine forwarded to the VA that there is limited or suggestive evidence of an association between chemicals of interest and bladder cancer. Adding bladder cancer to the list of medical conditions that qualify veterans for a presumption of exposure to Agent Orange would allow veterans easier access to critical health care benefits. Unfortunately, it's too late for Jim, but many Vietnam veterans continue to suffer from this disease. I call on VA Secretary McDonald to approve this designation so our Vietnam War veterans can receive the help that they have so solemnly earned. I know I speak on behalf of the entire Congress and a grateful nation to express our deepest condolences to his widow Carla, daughter Michelle, and his many friends and loved ones. I pray for God's mercies upon them as they cope with their pain. I yield back, Mr. Speaker. The gentleman from Florida.